I think actually uh, what uh, Archive.pt has achieved is uh, pretty unique uh, uh, in uh, the international uh, level because uh, we have uh, usually uh, national institution like National Archives, National Library who have uh, taken on to uh, archive the web. And in uh, Portugal we have a very special case where it's been done by people from the internet in a way. And I think they have proven that uh, this is a good thing because they have proven to be very agile, moving fast, and it's a domain where you have to adapt a lot. And I think they are extremely successful, specifically being able to give access online and uh, uh, expose search to, to, the, to the archives now. So I think it's one of the examples in the world which is uh, one of the most successful for archiving the web, actually. I think it's important to have more and more uh, access and usage, and I think Archivo.pt is uh, well in advance in this domain. Uh, I think also uh, we are living in a time where more and more analysis from digital content is being made by various uh, actors and players. And I think it's very important that uh, a public institution uh, has enough content, enough capacity to make this type of analysis like temporal analysis, how things have evolved, with the possibility for everybody to access that instead of just a few large companies who have this digital information. So we talk a lot about big data and other things like that, and it's a change in the society. And I think it's important that uh, public research and public access can be uh, given to this type of content, and Archivated PT uh, is well positioned to be uh, such a, a resource, a reference, for this type of uh, use and uh, research in the future, which I think is extremely important. <music>